riding on elephants on the other side of the world, helping build houses for the homeless, and conducting and presenting scholarly research at a university research conference. Those are just a few of the things the AC Presidential Scholars have accomplished this year. During the 2014-2015 school year, the scholars explored the meaning of service through community and campus-wide projects, expanded cultural awareness and global competency through travel, enhanced knowledge and academic achievements through specialized research projects, and built lifelong friendships. Service to the college and the community is a key component of the scholars program. This service is carried out through small project groups. These assignments teach students teamwork and leadership skills and provide real-life opportunities to organize and carry out event planning and coordination. The scholars serve the campus by assisting with events such as the Common Reader, Fall Fest, Badgerama, the Distinguished Lecture, and the Creative Mind Lectures. The students also help promote the Scholars Program and AC Honors classes through high school visits, on-campus promotions, and campus presentations. Through their efforts, they recruit new students and spread the word about opportunities at AC. Another aspect of Scholars Service is serving the Amarillo community. This year, the students volunteered for Habitat for Humanity and the High Plains Food Bank and delivered travel presentations at schools and community groups. I really learned the value of service, um, you know, what it means to give to those in need um, out of, you know, not of, your, not of your own accord, not of your own interest, you know what I mean? Um, it, was, it, was just, uh, it, was, it was just a lot of fun to think about you know, I'm, I'm doing this tough work. I mean, we did some some good work at both of the projects, but it was it was neat to think about. You know, I'm I'm not necessarily um, benefiting from this. You know, um, it's it's one thing to say and to think about it, but actually get out there and and do it. You know, so I mean, I I definitely learned the value of service from from the semester being in the community. First off, I love Amarillo College. <laughs> it's been great to me and just the fact that I get to help out in any way I can, considering how much the school has helped me, it's really, it's really helped me. Service here has really impacted how I help others and Presidential Scholars really served me, so I wanna help serve them. The students' understanding of the true meaning of service was greatly enhanced through their experiences with international travel, which is an integral component of the scholar's experience. In May of 2014, a dozen scholars spent eight days touring Cambodia and learning how to create sustainable and affordable clean water solutions. I saw a, a, a huge shift in our students' confidence in their abilities uh, to understand, to travel, to connect. Um, and, and really, I think their, their ability to va evaluate the great things about being American, but also the things that we could learn from these other cultures to make America even better. Uh, that worldview was broader as a result of this trip, and I think that they'll be better people because of it. It's just so important to see that our culture is not the only culture, and our way of living is not the only way of living. And being able to just compare them and see what we can do differently to help others has just been phenomenal. And seeing people that get by with almost nothing every day and they struggle for things you know just like water it puts into perspective how much that you need to value what you have and people in your life that support you and even education i think i learned a lot about how service is really important to me cambodia was an awesome experience we got to go experience a culture there we got to learn from a culture there from going to cambodia i've learned you know to have more empathy for people we got to learn the lessons um, from the people and be inspired by that. Going to Cambodia has really taught me that it's okay to go out of the box. It's okay to be like different and push yourself. So many of my friends and stuff, I wouldn't have been able to go out of the country or experience things like that if it wasn't for this program. All of it as a whole really contributes to who I am and what I'm planning on doing. Then in January, 19 scholars embarked on a transformative trip during which they volunteered at an organic farm and ashram, immersed themselves in a new culture, 
and made lifetime friends. It changed my life, honestly. There were so many things that um, I'm going to treasure forever because of that trip and um, so many things that I know that I can change in my own life and um, things that I can work on and grow to be a better person and to help the people around me to be better and live better lives. It really has changed the meaning of my life and my view of life and it means so much to me. We stayed at um, the ashram and so we got to see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, not just um, the front that they put up for tourists, but they really invited us into their home and um, into their family. It was really incredible how welcoming they were and how willing they were to share who they are with us. Born and raised in Dumas, America, you know, Dumas, Texas, and I know that, and that's it. You know, I'd never seen a whole lot of even our own country, um, the ocean, you know, any other countries. I think everybody should definitely have a life-changing experience like that, to get out of our own little box and to see the world. Along with overseas travel, the scholar's experience also includes an annual cultural excursion to a major metropolitan area. In October, the group went to Dallas to tour art museums and attend a live symphony performance. For many of the students, this was their first in-person opportunity to see the artwork they study in textbooks. The scholars learned a great deal through the research and preparation for the international travel and cultural excursions, but in order to take their understanding of academic research to the next level, they also undertook an intense academic research project. The scholars were charged with proposing a research study related to their majors or career fields. They submitted proposals in the fall and then began reviewing literature, conducting research, and in some cases even carrying out experiments. The scholars submitted research papers to the West Texas A&M Student Research Conference for consideration, and 15 AC students presented their research at the conference alongside more than 160 graduate and undergraduate students. Carrying out the research project helped the students understand the academic research process, provided valuable experience, and helped create foundational research that they can build upon as they continue their academic careers. You know, I mean, I'm actually thinking about medical school doing an MD, PhD program, and so research is something that I'm interested in getting good at so that when I get there, it's easy. It challenged me to look into um, the issue that I was researching more to um, delve deeper uh, and not just you know skim the surface of what I was looking into, but really dig into the meat of what it was about and um, discovering solutions to the problem for me. I mean, my goodness, the reward, what you get out of it is so exceptional. Because in high school we would be assigned research projects as well, but there were topics which we had no control over. They were assigned topics. Whenever, especially in your freshman year of college, whenever you do a research project pertaining to your major, my God, that is the ultimate way to tell you, are you, are you pursuing the right thing educationally? Do you need to do something else? I had not done uh, undergraduate research, obviously, and um, I guess the experience it was fulfilling to me as a student because I've always wanted to do something extra or something above and beyond. I like learning. As you can see, some aspects of participating in scholars were academically challenging and at times a little overwhelming. But the students say they got by with a little help from their friends. I thought, you know, going into college I'd be that one kid who just goes through it and uh, not have that much fun, not know very many people just go for the education, but now I find myself socializing a lot more and uh, looking for those friends and hanging out with them and enjoying college rather than just going for lectures and class. Being put into the Presidential Scholars, this small group of, of individuals who are excited to learn, who want to explore new things and who want to be innovative um, in their educational experience, uh, I found true potential in all of them and, and true talent and I made lifelong friendships. You know I think of everybody as one big family you know like it's like uh, like Miss Carter's you know my other grandma and then like your mother mom and then 
Miss Ingham's like my other older sister, you know, and we're all just one big, happy, awkward family. So during this school year, the presidential scholars have explored the meaning of service through community and campus-wide projects, expanded their cultural awareness and global competency through travel, enhanced their knowledge and academic achievements through specialized research projects, and built lifelong friendships. We want to conclude this presentation by paying tribute to the person who has made this all possible. Judy Carter has transformed the AC Honors Program. She has played a key role incorporating global travel into the curriculum. Since she began the travel component, Mrs. Carter has taken students to New York, China, England, Washington, D.C., Cambodia, India, Nepal, Germany, the Czech Republic, and Italy. Mrs. Carter has also initiated incentives that allow scholars to get iPads. And she expanded the overall honors program from just the 30 scholars to offer numerous other honors classes that now serve nearly 300 students a year. She created that program. Um, it's her child, it's her baby, and she loves it like and she loves those kids. I can't think of anyone who was more equipped to take the honors program from here to here in a short amount of time and where it really is the signature program that we have uh, for our students and the program that we talk about the most as a college in our community in Austin when we're raising money and on a national level as we're talking about our outreach. I think that's her lasting legacy. Mrs. Carter has promoted the honors and scholars throughout the Panhandle and has raised understanding of and respect for Amarillo College. She has worked tirelessly to make sure each student has the best educational experience possible. Ms. Carter is definitely somebody who wants us to get out of our comfort zones, but always in a good way. Um, she always challenged us to be more professional and learn skills that we're going to need for the rest of our lives. And she teaches us how to be goofy, but in an appropriate sense. Honest program, honest program, honest program, honest program, honest program. That test review was Wicked awesome, dude. Being a member of the honors program is like magic. She does a lot for us and it reflects in, in what we get to do every year and that's that means a lot to all of us. Congratulations on graduating from the honors program. Judy has made it possible for me to do things I never would have been able to do without her help just immensely supportive and encourages you to do things even when you may be frightened to do them and she makes a way for you. So she's the kind of person that actually cares about students, not just about their educational success, but the fun things that kind of make going to school enjoyable. She's really built my skills as a leader. She's really broken me out of my shell. I'm no longer shy or really keep to myself. I've gained a lot of friends through her program and I'm pretty excited about that. I will always remember almost dying in a tuk-tuk with Miss Carter. <laughs> I felt like she's always kind of been there to push you um, and help you grow, uh, get the most out of yourself. It's been challenging academically in managing time, but it's been also a great learning experience because you can grow from that. I think a lot of the things that she does is kind of the um, behind the scenes work and so a lot of people may not know all of the work that she puts into um, the stuff she organizes for presidential scholars, the stuff she organize, organizes for the school, the stuff she does for the honors program um, and for the, the global competency group. I mean she is working constantly, tirelessly and she never complains. She works until it's done and she makes sure that everybody's going to have the best experience and I think that that's that's rare, not just in teaching, but in a lot of parts of life. I, I think it's going to be um, difficult to think about this campus without Judy Carter on it. 